Up until now, we only presented the solution to the general filtering problem if we have linear state-space models with additive noise. However, as we saw in the modeling section, there are clearly interesting models that are non-linear, and we would like to be able to handle also these in our filters. So this is the premise of what we will discuss in this section. How to handle non-linear models in our filters. Specifically, we will focus on Gaussian filters here. That is, filters that assumes that the prior and posterior is a Gaussian distribution. We will in a later section also look at the so-called particle filters, which makes an entirely different assumption. So, if we return to our state-space models and try to generalize them a bit from our linear models that we have discussed previously. So in this course, we mainly consider models on this form, where we have a motion model and a measurement model that are described by a possibly nonlinear function of the state plus some additive Gaussian noise. So fk minus 1 here and hk here are possibly nonlinear functions. Now, in theory, we know how to solve the filtering problem. We just plug in our models in the prediction and update step of our filter. So our motion model goes here, and our measurement model defines the likelihood function here. And then we have our recursive filter, or... Well, so far, we at least know how to do this for our linear and Gaussian models, which we express like this. Now here, both our motion model and measurement model are linear functions of our state with additive Gaussian noise. So for these models, we know that we can solve the filtering equations analytically, and the solution is given by the common filter equations for the prediction step and for the update step. Now, as I said in the beginning, many important motion and measurement models are nonlinear and would therefore not fit into the common filter framework. Important examples are the coordinated turn motion model, which in automotive applications is often used to describe the motion of the vehicles that are surrounding our host vehicle. Now clearly, this is a nonlinear function of our state, as we have these cosine and sine functions here, for example, that is dependent on phi and omega, but we also have these multiplicative factors here, which makes this a nonlinear function of our state. Now, this part of a model is actually in linear, but as a whole, this is a nonlinear function. So in this example here, this is our nonlinear function f k minus 1 of our previous state, x k minus 1. Additionally, many important sensors measure the distance to an object. This is true for, for example, radars, cameras, stereo cameras, and also laser scanners, to name a few. Now, if the state vector describes the position of the object in Cartesian coordinates, like this, the distance to the object becomes this nonlinear function of the state. So with these sensors, we have a nonlinear function here of our state, hk of xk. So for these important nonlinear models, we have generally no analytical solution to the filtering equations. And even if we could, we would have difficulty to find a good parametric description of our densities, as they would probably not fit with any of our typical distributions. Now, a common approach is to find a tractable approximative solution where we are able to approximate the posterior density as something that we can more easily describe and handle. In this course, we will look at the two most common types of nonlinear filters, which are based on this notion. And that is the Gaussian filters that we will look at in this section. So examples of this is the extended comma filter, uncentered comma filter, or curvature comma filter. All of these have in common that they aim to approximate the posterior as a Gaussian distribution. The other type of method is the so-called particle filters, which are not trying to approximate the posterior as any typical distribution, but instead tries to describe the posterior as a weighted set of samples, or particles. We will talk more about these in a later section.